I got myself one of these here, um, the Dragino LT22222L, and it has got some analog inputs and digital outputs and relays. And in this video, I'm going to show you how this works and our downlink section. So I'm going to control this device over class C, LoRaWAN, directly using TDI. So first of all, let's go into the configuration. This is the device here. It's set to the things industries and I've got to set the details here like the API key and the dev ID and so on. Um, the payload decoder that is going to decode um, the data coming from that device here and also um, the payload fields here and these two fields I use to control the um, outputs, the relay outputs directly over downlinks. And I'm now going to show you how this works. So we've got the dedicated downlink section here. And in the downlinks, you can define your own downlinks and you can return what you want to send to that device. And I've got already prepared some downlinks here. And this one here basically lets you choose which relay you want to control. And the downlink is very simple. It reads the um, values from the measurement fields, so the controlling fields, and it returns the um, amount of bytes needed to control the device here. So um, let's send downlink to the device. First of all, press that button here. Um, we want relay number one and relay number two to be switched on. Um, these are the ones here right at the end. So I'm now saving and this will send the downlink to the LNS, so to TTI. It takes a few seconds, but at class C, it should be right after five seconds or something like that. So you've seen it's switched on. Okay, so now I'm going to do something else. Um, I go into the new dashboard builder and I'm going to create a few widgets now. So like Boolean widget, which is um, the relay control and notes the relay state in this one here. And as well, the second relay state. So um, switch it to relay number two and switch it back. So we've got these two, two relays here. Once more, go into downlinks and switch off all relays. Switch that off going to be sent to TTI, from TTI to the gateway, and because of class C, it takes a few seconds, but should be switching off the relays right now. We can also see that in the dashboard, because when you send a downlink to that device, it responds with an uplink um, reporting the actual current state. And this also allows you to have some kind of acknowledgement when there is the downlink was successful, it's going to send that back um, to this one here. I really, really like this device um, because of its size and all the um, inputs and outputs it has. Um, the relays are actually um, able to switch higher voltage. I think it's up to 220 voltage AC. And you've got two digital inputs, two digital outputs, so solid state outputs, not relay outputs, and two relay outputs. You got two voltage inputs and two 4 by 20 milliamp current inputs. You can program that device using an adapter, but also using downlinks. Yeah, and this was basically a very short demo about how the um, LT22222 template works and um, how the downlinks are being sent from, TTN, uh, from TTI to um, that device. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.